Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog. I just finished a yesterday and today work shift and I am exhausted mentally, physically, super unmotivated, don't wanna do anything except just lie right there on my couch and watch Netflix. But I have a lot to do, my house is a disaster. Throughout the day, whenever I think of things that I have to do, I make a list on my phone Yes, this is all the things I have to do. And it literally varies from like consult for my boob job to submit my assessment form, to contact some contractors, send some emails, follow up on some references, put a screen protector on, just like anything and everything that I think of that I have to do or want to do, I put on this list throughout the day. And then when I come home, I look at my calendar and my daily planner and I'll show you guys how I organize and um, plan out my day slash week end because today is friday i am not working at the club tonight usually i always work fridays and saturdays but like i said i just got off a very long clinic shift it's quite literally not possible for me to work tonight and stay awake and be my best self so i'm not going to push myself and i'm more than happy to do some life admin and yeah just sort of chill hopefully if i get everything done then i will watch some netflix and maybe have a bath and just do a little bit of a face mask or something nice to treat myself Oh, sorry, I didn't even tell you guys what I'm doing. But I got PR today. I'm so excited. It honestly made my day. Like, mm, I was, yeah, not feeling this afternoon slash tonight. I thought I was going to be a complete waste man, a total blob. But I have PR, so I'm going to light them. And they're going to make me inspired to clean. This lovely girl reached out to me and was like, hey, can I send you some stuff? And I was like, that would make my week. Thank you so much. From Poppy Ray Candles. And she was like, what do you want? And I was like, sis, please just, I'll take whatever you've got. Thank you so much. <laughs> Very cute. Oh my God. Lychee guava. This is delicious. It's a soy candle. My favorite. You guys know how much I'm obsessed with candles. And I'm sick of paying glass house prices. And she gave me some bubble wrap to play with. And vanilla. Love vanilla. Delicious. It smells like dessert. So thanks so much, girlfriend. Really appreciate it. You can never have too many candles. I don't think my apartment looks my apartment. I'm a full your house. I don't think my house looks particularly messy, but I have just like all of the unboxing stuff from like two days ago. And I'll see you guys hopefully when my house is clean. So I thought I would show a little before. So this is stuff that has to be unpacked and put away. This is the office, the worst room in the house. So all of this just needs to be sorted out and put away because I did the cupboards. This also needs to be unpacked from when we moved like two months ago poor form i know this is all my stripping lingerie and stuff that just needs to go into a suitcase this is my desk not too bad not too bad my makeup just needs to be slid in there it's all sorted and then that's the lounge room please help this is the kitchen got a clean dishwasher which is nice but yeah just like gross so this is everything that i am giving away slash selling the house is clean we're watching marvel and i'm going to do some folding Woohoo! and i managed to sell all my honey butter stuff great success so we just got get a burger got some onion rings chips i got a vegan schnitzel burger which is this one it looks so good Yum. And Leo just got a beef burger. And we also got some jalapeno poppers, which I love. just on my way to Leo's rugby game. It's actually the grand final, which is a big deal. I'll check in with you guys when I get there. Rugby is all done. They actually tied. So there was a draw. And now I'm just going to go to uni and pick up some stuff. And I think I would prefer to work from home today. So I'm probably not going to be there for very long. I've 
just showered and washed my hair. I'm eating some fudge that a patient made me yesterday, heating up some Italian food. This is my lunch. It's just some sun-dried tomato pasta. And does anyone else get really frustrated at the time it takes for OnlyFans videos to upload? Because I do. So I'm just sitting at my desk having a cup of tea, just planning my week slash day. So I use a hardcover planner. Just this one, I think it's actually from Kmart. It would have been like less than $10. And I like the ones that have the whole week on one side as well as some notes and to-do lists. So I've just quickly filled this out. There's really nothing there. I do try to keep it as minimal as possible. So I have sort of that I'll be at uni, I have an important meeting, I'll be at clinic, I'll be at uni and then I have trivia. I'll be at uni and then I have a doctor appointment. I'll be at uni and then I'm at the club and then I'm at the club. And then on this side, just here, I do sort of general to-do things. Nothing too urgent, but it must be done this week. And then in notes, I do uni-specific things that need to be done this week. I never fill in anything urgent because nothing is really left until the last minute. If it's urgent, I would do it and I wouldn't write it down. Um, and then goals of the week, usually just gym and also some YouTube videos. And then on my iPad, I plan out, I don't do this every day, just when I have more than one or two things that I have to do. So this is just in the notes app. I use my little Apple Pencil and I write down all of the things that I want to get done that day. So I've vacuumed, I have cleaned the bathrooms, I have done the washing and the folding. I have changed my sheets, uni items pick up. Usually I would take these off as I go, but I only, you know, just got home. I just wash my hair, just plan next week, and then I'm going to be doing this, editing the vlogs, packing my work bag, and filming another video. And then on my desktop, which I am on this pretty much every day, but especially when I'm at uni, all I have on my computer calendar is important things like when we went away for a photo shoot, when I'm working, when I'm in Toowoomba working, and then like holidays. This is my bed that I made this morning. I forgot to show you guys and I'm just literally gonna have a nap now and mentally prepare myself for a night at work. The time is 6.10 and I just woke up. I had like probably like an hour to an hour and a half worth of sleep and I just wanted to briefly come on here and mention what I'm feeling because I think it's important um, a lot of you know I have an anxiety disorder and it manifests itself in a way that I think a lot of people wouldn't usually realize. So I've just put my watch on to measure my heart rate. My heart rate is 107. My usual resting heart rate is 66. I knew as soon as I woke up that I was not okay. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, what are you anxious about? And that's the thing with my type of anxiety. It is not me being anxious about something. It's not like, oh, I um, have a big speech coming up. I'm anxious about that. It's literally my body not being able to cope. I would call in sick tonight if there weren't fines for calling in sick. So I am going to try and push through and just hoping that I sort myself out. I'm really just trying my best to be like, everything is fine. What is your problem, brain? <sighs> but yeah, it's just like an awful feeling because like it feels like you, you don't have control over your emotions. <laughs> I actually also just spoke to Leo on the phone and was like, I feel this way and I don't know why. And he was like, very sweet. He's going to pick me up from work and he's always a doll and very patient. So I do feel a lot better. I've just put on some rice and I'm going to take that for dinner, I think. So even though my camera battery was plugged in, it wasn't turned on at the wall. So my camera is dead. But I'm sitting here doing my makeup. This is the setup. Not ideal, but hey, it, it does the job. And I'm watching one of my favorite YouTubers who is a doctor and she's reacting to New Amsterdam. So I really have to get a move on. This is the final look. These are my favorite lashes at the moment. I said this like every week when I try a different one. These are so cute. Uh, link in the description, by the way.
This is the work fit. This is how I rock up. Cute. Sloth socks, always. And this is just where I packed my bag. That's the things I'm taking. I'm wearing the blue Amelie set tonight. And a friend just bought this set from me. Baby wipes. Going to get some deodorant. Money bag. Shoes. Let's get it. So this is just going to be my dinner. It's just rice, tuna, and avo. And then this, wait, where is it? This is what I'm going to eat now. It is literally just two eggs. I put it in an omelet, but I had to cut it up to put it in a container. I'm going to take a peach and let's go. So I just got to work and my stage sets slash floor sets every 20 minutes past the hour. So it's currently eight o'clock and I don't have to be on the floor until 8.20. And my stage set is 320. <laughs> so I've got like 20 minutes to put my clothes on and have my omelet for dinner. And a goal of $900. Hi guys, so I am back from work. It is 5.15 a.m. on Sunday morning. So tonight was kind of funny. It was super quiet early on and then it got really busy. However, there was a lot of rejection and not a lot of people spending money is what I found. And then I got a little bit worried, I suppose, because the girls were talking about how awful last night was friday i was really lucky and i did quite a couple of hours in the lap room i didn't do nearly as many short quick dances as the last couple of shifts see so what we're working with so i did actually get my money changed at the end of the night into 50s because i did have like a ridiculous number of like fives and tens one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand. One thousand and ten dollars. And this is, of course, after tip out slash door fee, um, which was seventy five dollars. So I actually made one thousand and eighty five dollars, which is awesome. I wasn't sure if I had cracked the one thousand. I will see you guys in the morning. I stuffed up. I'm usually so onto it when it comes to my intentional sleep deprivation on Sundays. Always without fail, we'll wake up in the middle of the day on purpose having underslept in order to sleep on Sunday night. And it's currently 4 p.m. <laughs> oh, I don't know what happened. I must have just like snoozed my alarm without really like being awake, but it's fine. I will try my best to go to sleep tonight in order to be at my meeting tomorrow at 8 a.m. Welcome to my kitchen. It is about 6.30 p.m. on Sunday. I need to tidy up my kitchen a little bit. I just put in a load of washing and I have some folding to do. And I'm gonna make some nachos. Lighting my little glass house candle. Pen folds. Red kidney beans, black beans, and then a tin of diced tomatoes. You can use any mints. I obviously don't eat meat, so I use plant-based mints. Massive, heavy Dutch oven on medium heat. Look at my face. <laughs> I should have put the olive oil in, obviously, before I put the onion in, but we're just gonna do it now. I'm sure it doesn't matter. Very good amount, you know? I need to 
need a big strong man. Ugh, no, I don't. I need two tablespoons, which is quite a lot. These little baby carrots. I'm just going to peel them. I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do three. I just got carrot and onion in there. Yeah, looking good, smelling even better. So I've just added my beans. You don't have to add the beans, but I absolutely love legumes and I'm here for all of the extra protein. Diced tomatoes. Also, side note, make sure you rinse all of your beans just in like a spaghetti strainer. I'm gonna do pepper, cumin. Cumin and paprika are the important ones. Herb and garlic seasoning. That sounds good. So I just had this simmering for like 10 minutes while my oven was preheating. And I have just lined a dish, put some corn chips on it, and I'm going to do cheese first, and then mix, and then salsa, and then a bit more cheese to top. So while my nachos are cooking, I am just doing a little bit of bookkeeping. This is literally just for myself. I have really good accountants that do everything for me, but I like to sort of just track my progress, see where I'm at, do some comparisons between the years, between the months, between the days, and of course the clubs and the venues and the type of work that I'm doing. So I am obviously very behind. I haven't done anything this financial year. So August and we're currently in September. So I'm just going to fill in all of my OnlyFans income, YouTube income, that sort of thing. So what I do is I just get up my banking app. I'm more than happy to show you guys this. Just up here, we have an OnlyFans payment of $15.29. So I just put in the day, obviously the month, the type of income. So if it's OnlyFans, if it's dancing, if it's whatever it is, and then the amount. And I do this for everything from stripping OnlyFans, literally just all my avenues of adult work and social media, etc., goes into this spreadsheet. And then I can show you guys what it looks like from last financial year. So this was dancing only. So my deductions for things like door fee, things like lingerie, etc. Everything related to work, hotels, traveling, phone bills, makeup, outfits, literally everything goes into deductions here. And yeah, so that is just what I'm doing right now. And hopefully my nachos will be ready soon. Just watching the girlfriend experience on Stan. And this is how the nachos turned out. Yes, this is a size comparison. Probably wouldn't recommend this serving size for one, but here we are. Just have some guacamole slash just, it's just avocado on its own, mashed up with some lactose-free sour cream. Yum. Just did some folding. So I just ran myself a bath and washed my face, cleansed it, and I put on these little, I don't know if they're on, are they on the right way? It might be back the front. There's little silicon eye strip things and they've got some serum on them. I've tried them once before and didn't notice a difference. I made myself a cup of tea. I'm going to enjoy my bath. I was actually just sent the Google Drive from my photo shoot last week. So I'm going to go through these photos. They, from what I've seen already, they're amazing. There's over 1,300, which is very impressive. Um, so a whole lot of content coming for OnlyFans, which is super exciting. I'm just going to enjoy my bath, wait for Leo to get home, and then get ready for bed. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.